heard of Banff Mineral Springs Hospital when I first moved here and I knew that I wanted to get involved and so I was invited to join the Ethics Committee and I've been on it for six years and that led to the Community and Foundation Board which has opened my mind to what goes on in our community. There are people here who are homesick, a young population and they're vulnerable to maybe a risky lifestyle. How do we care for those that may be exploited in our community? What happens when this person from out of town, out of country, needs something? How do you turn that away? And we don't. So at Banff Mineral Springs, we built a safe room. So this is a, a locking door. And so that's the safety for the safety client? Safety for the client and for, for staff. To have someone brought into the safe room doesn't mean that they're unsafe themselves. Sometimes they're just really sad and they don't want to be in the public display of a curtained room that we can give them the privacy. We have to take the judgment out of it. And that's what we do. We saw the need and the entire staff was behind this project. To see that our hospital stepped up to the plate, that makes me really proud. My name is Marlene Collins and I'm the Aboriginal Liaison Worker here at the Bonneville Health Centre. With the communities like the First Nations, when they first found that they were able to smudge in the hospital. They were really happy about that. And I always tell them, well, you know what? The hospital is very supportive in our culture, our beliefs. It shows I'm also Catholic and I strongly believe in my saying the rosaries. And I also use the smudge as well. With my type of work that I do, my role, I always ask for prayers for the patient, the healing part of it. When I smudge, I, I smudge with my eyes. And my, my words are, give me a good day. And when I pray with my ears, I ask the Creator to give me the good listening to hear what the patients are telling me. And when I pray with my mouth, I pray that I give kind words to them. The smoke that comes up and goes up further, that's when you know your prayers are being taken up and being answered. Oh, yeah. My name is Jason Bain, I'm one of the vascular surgeons here. We're lucky in that we have a, a huge group, we've got six uh, vascular surgeons all together and while that seems like a large group on a national scale, we also serve such a huge population. A lot of the diseases that we treat are generally hardening of the arteries and aneurysmal disease, which both can be life and limb threatening conditions. And so a lot of what we do does help save limbs and help save lives. The burden of disease for a lot of these patients uh, can make their lives quite miserable in terms of disability and their function. And so a lot of what vascular surgery is is quite rewarding because the second you restore blood flow, the patients have a massive change in their symptoms and they really are quite thankful and, and, uh, and quite hopeful for the future when things change that quickly and that rapidly for them. You can see us getting out of here pretty soon. Yeah, <laughs> It'll be nice to get out of here. It'll be nice to go home, yeah. All right, well, it's a pleasure seeing you. Yes. It's nice taking care of you. I started volunteering, but I've never actually been into this side of the hospital or haven't for a long time. So when Grandma came in, I didn't realize everything that happened in here. They make sure there are lots of activities for them to do and a wide range of activities. So the Senior Olympics were held at the end of May. So I volunteered to be a timer and I was very nervous. There was the cutting of the ribbon first to open the games and Grandma did that, and I think it was the first time she really participated in any sporting events. All I ever done was chores and stuff. <laughs> so I was like a queen for a day that day, because I'd never done anything like that in my life. You got to be an Olympian. I did, yeah. For the first time. Yeah, for the first time. Until next year. Yeah, I hope so. When you bring home the gold. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. it was a good day for me, a really good day for me, yeah. I'll never forget it. The people that are in here make you feel great. It's probably one of the best volunteer jobs I've ever done. It is the best volunteer job I've ever done. <laughs> My 
name is Lori and I'm a volunteer with Healing Connections, which is an interactive program established for people diagnosed with breast cancer. My journey with breast cancer started four years ago when I was diagnosed at 36. And so for me it was a grueling process both emotionally and physically. My role with Healing Connections as the youngest volunteer is just to bring awareness and to change perceptions that breast cancer just does not target postmenopausal women that they are young women like myself and men being diagnosed every day. It's very beneficial to me to just be able to talk about it with them um, and remembering that once that you were sitting on the other side of the table and now you know you're through it and giving back that it just puts things in perspective for me. Everyone I meet with is always so appreciative of having the opportunity to talk to somebody who has been through the process. And so if I'm able to ease their worries in some way or inform them to make their life just a little bit easier that day, then I really feel grateful to have been given the opportunity to do that. My name is Cecilia Marion and I am the Senior Director of Uville Home and St. Joe's Auxiliary Hospital. My job is very much to create an environment where staff feel that they can bring their ideas forward. We have part two which I planted some Virginia creeper. And so Nicole is um, what you would call um, a really engaged employee. Every day when she would look out that window and see a grey wall, she started to think about how can we make this better. Saturday when I was hanging all my names, I was hearing a knock on the window. Hi! Beautiful, beautiful! So those are rewards for me. You know, it takes one person to make a difference, so her energy spurs on everyone around her. So many of those plants, they come from the other staff that work here. They see something growing, something new, and they're like, ah, oh, that's wonderful, I want to get in on it. So she inspires people with the wonderful things that she does. It's to add life to anybody that walks in the hallway or that are in that room. I think for me it's about the people that we serve. It's about being um, Christ's hands, respecting people and loving people, whether that's a resident, an employee, whether that's a family member.